Bedlam is a place of like uproar and, and confusion, and it's basically a circus. And that's the way I looked at hosting and entertaining people to bring them into the art world. It's not like a gallery where you're going to go in and look at paintings in a sterile environment. It's a madhouse, and you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you're going to walk in, you don't know what's going to happen, what to expect, and I didn't let on. If I had music or, or something special going to happen, I didn't tell anybody about it. It would just happen. So everybody had a surprise. So when people went home, they would say, like, God, I've been someplace that I've, I've never been before. <laughs> that place was crazy. Bedlam. I always liked the idea of the speakeasy, the uh, Catholic society of the 30s and 40s, where people got dressed up to go out. I wanted to emulate some specific people through history. Gertrude Stein, Andy Warhol, and you throw a little P.T. Barnum in there and a, a lot of Tom Sawyer to get things done. That's the key to a, a good party host is making sure your, everything stays running smoothly and on time and that your, your guests are having a good time and you avoid situations that have to be diffused. <laughs> in reality, everything I was doing there was for the artists and myself in, in the community. And so it was, yeah, this is fun. And what, what are we really doing? What we're really doing is we're racketeering. <laughs> and everything we're doing is illegal. We have illegal gambling, we're selling alcohol. We have a lot of people in the place. I came in one night and Yule Hauser was leaning against my bar. And I went over, I said hello, and he, he took me aside and he said like, I'd love to do a, a, a story about your place here. This is so fantastic. All these people and this art and everything is just great. And I just said, well, you know, here's my phone. Just call the police now. I know how to paint. I, I, I think I can paint rather well, but I don't call myself an artist. To be an artist, I think it takes a, a dedication and commitment. I know artists that would spend their money on a tube of cadmium red before they'd buy themselves food. That's not me. There's nothing better than having all your friends to be artists. When I was younger, that's something that I always wanted. I wanted all my friends to be artists. And I was able to achieve that in downtown LA. My 20 years in downtown, that was the greatest neighborhood I've ever lived in. Philadelphia, New York, forget it, man. Downtown LA was the most wonderful community. People were so supportive. Everybody gathered together in that community to support one another. I've never seen anything like that before, anywhere. I love the place. I love living there. It was, uh, <clears throat> it was the best 20 years of my life. We had so much fun and it was so exciting. It was like we jumped in the air and we stayed there. <laughs>